This is Russ Anderson. I'm going to demo tracking and stabilizing some footage and passing it through to Bentley MicroStation. So we're just going to start out opening up our shot and it's the uh, typical flyover test shot here. And just scroll through that quick so you can take a look. And we're going to start up the auto track on it. So it's doing the 2D analysis and the 3D analysis now to figure out where everything went and what the field of view of the camera was and exactly where the camera went. So we've completed that now and everything's still up in the air so uh, we can create a coordinate system using a couple of the points. And this is going to match up to what I'm going to do later in MicroStation when I'm going to match the scene up with the uh, particular model I'm going to insert. So I've just snapped everything down onto the ground and at this point I've got everything locked up but uh, I haven't done any stabilization yet so let's go start that so I'm just uh, so I just need to uh, clear the selection set so that I get the right set of trackers to use which is going to be all the trackers so we're going to start and keep that same position orientation through to the end of the shot. So by that point, the helicopter is rotated around to the side. And that rotation is actually okay, so I'm just going to tweak this thing a little bit at the end. Just, just going to make it so that we need a little less zoom at this point. And also maybe we'll just fix up the image a little while we're at it. Except that I don't want to do that. Here we actually need to do that back at the start of the shot with the keyframing off or we're going to have an animated level adjustment. So it's just uh, recalculating the shot and we have all the, uh, the shot stabilized now. We need to get the tracker positions suggested to match. We also need to save the images out. So let's get that going. So we're just going to create a new little version of this thing. I'm going to just make it a little JPEG sequence. Compression settings 85 will be good. So we'll save away the images here. And now we're going to go and apply the stabilization to the trackers. And if we look out in the scene now, the uh, trackers are good. The, the 3D points aren't good yet. So we still need to go and just refine them again and recompute the solution itself. So now everything's locked up all together. This will we'll take out this one truck while we're at it, though. We'll just refine again. Okay, so now we can go and export to Bentley MicroStation. We'll just use the default settings here. And well, let's see what we're going to do about this. The thing that we should do is change our shot images to be the new version of this shot. The issue is MicroStation does require the sequence images so we're just going to give it the new images instead. And then we will do this export again. And it should all be happier. Okay, now we're going to close up SynthEyes. We've already got MicroStation opened up here. Um, 
but we're going to go bring up this animation producer dialog and select the import MSA that's going to read the file that we just produced out of Synthize. So we'll open this up. Now we need to start adjusting this view here to show the background. It's going to be the camera display as well. We're ultimately going to want some shaded things here. I'm going to get the preview tool. Now I can start to see that view there. We should also go to adjust the size of that. So we're going to adjust view 2 and we'll set that to be uh, 640 by 480. And now we can just go and bring in our model you've already kind of positioned to match the coordinate system placement. And now magically we have got our model set right into our scene. So that is a complete Bentley workflow depending on how the model is set up and how you want to place things that alignment process will probably have to be different but uh, nonetheless, that's a whole view of the thing. Thanks for checking it all out.